Hey, what's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to Paper Mario Color Splash. Last time we took on Cobalt Base. Today, we are going to be saving the Blue Big Paint Star, and we're going to be taking on the third coupling of this game. But before we begin, don't forget, guys, to do me the biggest favor of all time and leave a like on this video. It really helps out the series, and I appreciate it. And it keeps the marathon going and all that other good stuff. So anyways, let's just go ahead and begin on Fort Cobalt. I actually just went ahead and I bought a lot of battle cards from Port Prisma. Dude, I have an addiction to spending coins in this game. I'm not even kidding. I love spending coins. I love buying battle cards, and I've maxed out my battle cards once again. So it's not like I can even pick up many battle cards I find here but welcome guys to Fort Cobalt it looks like the inside of a prison I know it's because the thugs and you know the the gang members and all the stuff from the Mario Mushroom Kingdom like the evil people essentially come out and hang here I guess this fort there's no mistaking that smell the blue big paint star is here of course man that is why we're here Huey but first of all let's smash this box ah oh, how did you find me Mario I'm practically in wait hold on how did you know that I was Mario is it from that little slit, like that little crease hole opening in the box? I, I don't really know, man. That slit, I guess, is what the word is. Who knows, man? Or maybe he just heard me talking to Huey. He could have figured me out because of my voice. How did you find me, Mario? I'm practically invisible in this inconspicuous cardboard box. No, you're not. We received intel that the enemy is developing a secret weapon at Fort Cobalt. We decided to infiltrate this place ourselves, but we were in over our caps. Now that you're here, I'll leave the rest to you. So you're once again a useless rescue squad member who does absolutely nothing and then waits for me to finish the job because you can't finish what you started. How sad is that? But anyways, guys, look at this. Oh, we can now kill Shy Guy without actually having to battle them. They're just as weak as Goombas, so that's pretty exciting. But the thing is, guys, in this episode here, we're going to be taking on a ton of enemies, and that is just because there are a ton of Shy Guy here. Uh, it's, it's, it's a little bit of a problem, but, you know, once you get past this part, it's all good and dandy. Um... But that's why I bought all the battle cards, specifically for this. And guess what? I actually figured out how to sort out my battle cards. There is literally a button on the touch screen or on the gamepad that says sort. And you click it, and then it sorts them all by uh, what kind of battle cards they are. So had I known that prior to, you know, obviously saying what I said earlier on in this LP about I wish there was a way where you can sort your battle cards, I would have never said it because I would have knew what to do. And boom, suck a die of one hop slipper. We got to kill his brother with the same exact top slipper. Oh, yeah. Just spread the blood, man. It's not cool. Don't spread blood, guys. Bloodshed is terrible. So what do we got here? We got another Shy Guy card, a blue Shy Guy card. Oh, I didn't know they came in different colors. That's exciting. So um, we got a blue Shy Guy card, and we obviously got to fill in all of these colorless paint spots. When I beat this level the first time, I only beat it up to like 96%. So I was missing a couple colorless paint spots. So I'm going to try to take this as slowly as I can to make sure that I'm not skipping over anything accidentally. Listen up, men. We've received report that the enemy has infiltrated our base. They'll be using con uh, convert tactics, so I want to I want you to search this place from top to bottom back to front. That sounds pretty straightforward like a job for Shy Guy, except can they actually do it or are they like Toad? Sir, yes, sir. Top to bottom, back to front. Yes, we got this, sir. And uh, it's, it's a Sniffit who's their commander-in-chief. So there must, they must be loving that right now. Or they are probably hating it because, you know, Shy Guy and Sniffits don't really get along. They see each other as like, the Sniffits see each other, or rather see the Shy Guy as like um, the inferior version of them. While they're the superior version of Shy Guy. Uh, or I guess, yeah, of Shy Guy pretty much. So what is Gucci, guys? Strong work, Shy Men. You found him. Yes, you totally found me, even though you were standing in the same exact place that I found you guys. And now listen up. Mario may look tough on paper, but he's not that tough on paper. Oh, really? So I look tough because I'm on paper, but when it comes down to it, I'm not actually a tough sheet of paper. Stack up, soldiers. Go! And once again, they're going to be doing their famous move known as the Shy Guy Stack, where they stack up in groups of five and then battle me. That is how they live their lives, essentially. You know, they stack up and, and they live their entire life stacked up together. So, you know, I'm not entirely sure what the fastest, most efficient way to go about killing these guys is. 
However, there's going to be a lot of paint used in this battle here. So we're going to go ahead and use some of these fire flowers that we have. Uh, what else do I got? Maybe one of these e-cameras. I'll throw that in just, you know, on the off chance none of these things actually work. Uh, I believe the fire flower should be killing like one shy guy, not a set of shy guy, just because, you know, obviously that's way too crazy. But one shy guy will suffice for me. You know, we can get rid of two groups, I believe. Oh, wait, never mind, dude. Are you serious? Why doesn't it attack just like one group, like, focusing in front of you? Like, why are you going one by one? Because that's still leaving a whole lot of them for me. All right, it's whatever, man. It's whatever. They're still not going to beat me. Whoa, one. Let's see how many we can get out of this. Two three can i get an excellent i bet i could oh yeah i got an excellent but too bad he was still attacking that shy guy even though it was serving him no purpose see that is how these enemies get a lot of damage on me it's because you know they come in hurts of like 20 25 you know and it just makes it super hard to not get hit by any one of them you gotta kill them either a as quickly as you can to avoid any damage or you let them hit you and then you just restore your hp after a little while Okay, uh, what else can I use? I guess I'll use all these hop slippers. I have so many of them, man. Oh, no, no, no. I gotta paint them. I was gonna say done painting. That's definitely not good. But yeah, I'm not actually a fan of this level. I'm not really sure why. I think, honestly, it's because of the way they designed it. Like, there's nothing really bad about the design itself. It's just, um, I don't know. I don't really like the, the app sphere that I'm in when I'm playing this level. It just doesn't really seem like a Mario level to me. It seems like a Dr. Mario sort of uh, game and watch kind of thing. Like you're in a factory. Like whatever that game was back in the day. I remember I played like a Mario game. I it could have been like... Uh, man, what was it? Mario Factory, if that's even a game. It was a really old school Nintendo game. And then I believe they came out like with a version on it for the game and watch. So... Yeah, that's exciting. Okay, let's let me let me just you know pull that down, put this up here. Isn't it crazy how long it's taking me to kill these shy guy? I've been spending like five minutes just battling these things, dude. Not even the boss battle is this long, bro. All right, excellent hit, and there's still a stack of four. What is this abomination, man? There we go. Finally. Wow, that was terrible, dude. And we still didn't even battle the sniff it himself. I hope he retweet retreats, not retweets, because what is he retweeting? My men! Oh, see you later. Even when they stacked up, they didn't stack up. Retreat! Oh, yeah, and he dropped some tanuki leaves. Guess he ran away without his tail between his legs. <laughs> Get it? Because he dropped his tail. So these tanuki leaves will actually come in handy. And they're not tanuki leaves. They're just rather tanuki tails, known as tails in this game. Uh, they'll actually be the reason we're going to be uh, beating the boss. So instead of, you know, using a thing card like we've been doing for pretty much uh, this entire game with the bosses, we're just going to be using the tail. And you guys will see exactly how that'll come to play once we reach the boss. But before we do that, we got to fill in these colorless paint spots real quick. You can't even tell that this thing up here is a colorless paint spot. I don't know how the game expected you to figure that one out, but I guess they did. Anyways, come out of here, you little toad. What are you doing back there? Get out, dude. Come on. Pull him out. Knock it off. Can't you see I'm being all stealthy over here? What if I was a shy guy pulling you out? You were going to tell me to knock it off? Oh, Mario, sorry about that. Toad 2 of the Blue Rescue Squad reporting for duty. Since I've been separated from my captain, I'll report back to Port Prisma HQ until further notice. We're going to find a lot of these Blue Rescue Squad members here. You guys thought the, the Yellow Rescue Squad team was big? Dude, the blue one's even bigger. There's way more members uh, in that. I don't know, man. It's like some weird kind of cult, dude, these toads are starting up. I guess, you know, they're trying to prove that they're the best colored toads. So they just, you know, rival each other. I guess it's a good sport for them. But anyways, welcome back, guys, to Super Mario 3D World, where today we're picking out some new battle cards. Um, I thought I'd show this off real quick, just in case, you know, you wanted a couple extra battle cards. I always love getting the red one, because you get that roulette thing, the, the spinny thing. You get to pick whatever battle cards you want, or you get a roll for whatever battle cards are available. Oh, we got another tail. They're going to give you so many of these things in this level. It's too bad we're not going to be able to pick them all up, but... Let me actually double check really quickly to make sure I've filled in all the colorless spots before I leave this area because I don't want to accidentally have to, you know, come back and, and make sure that all the colorless spots are filled in. Looks good, looks good over here. Uh, looks good over here. 
Everything looks fine and dandy up in here. Okay, I think we're good, guys. We can now leave this area in one piece. Yeah, we're definitely good. Okay. So, uh, if you accidentally see me skip over a colorless spot, you know, don't scream at your monitor or screen. I'll probably eventually come back and end up finding it. But for now, we're just going to have to just do a quick swoop in every room and make sure that at least we haven't skipped over anything major. Oh, and it's this room. What is wrong with you, Toad? Why are you crying? I have the absolute worst luck. You see those three fence panels? I know one of them is weak link. But no matter what I do, I never guess the right one. So I'll help a guy out. You're a lucky guy. Show me what real luck is. All right, let's take a look. Hmm, which one of these may be the busted one? I'm going to say this one. And I'm wrong. Woohoo! 20 damage knocked back, you psychopaths. All right, let's do it again. Woo! All right, another 20 damage knocked back, you crazy psychos. All right, one more. I guess we'll uh we'll do we'll do this one again. Oh my gosh, dude! There is no way. Mario, it seems like the fence panels get shuffled around each time you hit one. If only we could keep track of which fence panels you've hit already. Okay, so do you really want me to hit this one? See, and it still changes, man. Alright, I gotta go heal, guys. I'm gonna go heal and I'll meet you guys back here. Okay. We're going to be trying this again, and hopefully this time around, I can actually figure it out. There we go. That's one. It's all luck-based, so you can never really be sure as to which one it'll be. You literally just have to guess. See, that is terrible. So I already hit that one. I guess there's really no point in trying to hit that one again. Let's go ahead and hit the middle one again, and it's the right one. All right, proceeding on. What else do we got? This definitely... Uh, that's definitely a trap. Okay. Okay. Dude, it's not a trap. At first, I thought the same thing, but you want to let this thing fall down on you. It's going to do 50 damage, you psychos. Oh, my gosh. Look at that. My head is now swollen. I probably should have waited to pick up that piece of heart until after I allowed this thing to fall on me. But if you go ahead and give it a good old squeeze, you can actually turn this into a thing that you will keep for later. At first, I thought this was what we were going to be using to take on the coupling for this episode. But turns out I was 100% wrong. We didn't even need this at all so we're definitely good but dang that really messed up my head now i gotta pick one of these fences to see which one's the weak link again oh man oh man oh it did only eight damage okay thankfully that wasn't oh uh, i didn't do more damage than that oh come on game this really sucks okay what about this one it's gonna be that one of course and there's a heart. I'm going to pick it up. And then we just got to figure out which one of these is going to be it. And I got it wrong, man. Are you serious? Okay. Well, once again, I'm going to be wasting my time. Uh, that's why I hate this level, dude. I actually don't like this level at all because of this stupid crap. Okay. But anyways, we're now in a trap door. And this place is the absolute most useless place in this entire level i mean you could battle your enemies here and then you know pick up some extra paint hammers for yourself you know to increase your max paint but if you don't really want to do that then yeah this is going to be a terrible place to get out of because it's going to be almost impossible to dodge these ninjas dude they're pretty much everywhere so i'm going to go ahead and just try to exit this area and i will meet you guys once we are out of here Okay, we did it, guys. We managed to escape this area, and we are back once again here in this stupid, crappy area. So now we got to pretty much repeat everything that we did, except the good thing about this is it actually shows you the, uh, the fences that you hit before so you can figure out the way. Finally, man, a little bit of mercy here. And then I believe it was this one. We did it. Wow. Such... A stupid puzzle that takes 50 million years to get past because it's all based purely around chance. Yeah, I am not really a big fan of that kind of stuff. Chance minigames or chance things are absolutely the worst. So, uh, anyways, once again, we spawned way too many battle cards for us to be able to pick up. And, wow, I, I need to actually get rid of some of my battle cards at this point. Like, let's take a look at what we have that I don't personally need. I have all these useless... E cameras, like let's get rid of that. Yes, trash it, please. Trash this one, please. Yes, trash this one, please. Yes, trash this set, please. Again, I don't really need these hammers, bros. There we go. All right, we we trash like I I believe six of them or something, so we could pick up all these. There we go. Hey, we managed to pick up all of them, but dang, we could have picked up that Tanuki tail. It's whatever though. So I'm going to go ahead and save just to ensure that if anything did happen, I don't have to redo all that I just did. Because that took a long time, man. 
And we're still not even halfway done with this level. There's still going to be a lot more that we have to do. And a lot more enemies that we have to take on. So prepare yourselves, guys. Prepare yourselves. Uh, so how do I begin? You know, I'll just probably start out by trying to fill in all the colorless paint spots first. And then, you know, maybe talk to these guys. What are they eating? They're eating something delicious. Eating this thing is like smooching a dragon on. Yows! He turned his friend into fire. Man, that was so spicy, but it was worth it. Oh, man, he became dust. He died eating a burger. This burger is on point. Thanks, dude. I don't know why I'm thanking you, but I want to buy one of these burgers. Welcome to the Prism Cafe at Fort Colbach. Uh, or Colbat. Uh, yeah, so we're going to buy the Magma Burger. That's what it is. For 200 coins, the most popular dish here in this cafe, the Magma Burger. For a limited time, uh, we're offering this Booyah meal. It's a Magma Burger and this bonus item. Oh, nice. We got a fishing pole, my boys. That was the last booyah meal we had in stock. Lucky you. Uh, would you like something else? See, I have this special for 100,000 coins. That kind of makes me uh, question whether this game allows you to carry up to that many coins. If there's, like, literally no cap on coins. Because that would be pretty insane. Oh, Mario! Uh, the Baritza here hooked me up with some coffee and uh, for my Sega. I think he might sympathize with our case. Oh, by the way, the secret password is pretzel. No way, it's not right. It's seashell. No way, it's not right. Hmm, it was a pretty ordinary word. Nothing special about it, but oh well. See you later, Toad. What are you doing inside of here? You can't be drinking coffee on the job, you slacker. Dude, these Toads are worthless, man. I legit don't even know why they are even in this game. Well, I mean, obviously I know why they're in the game, but still, they're so worthless. There's so many of them even stuck in this vent. You want to just go ahead and constantly keep hitting these walls, and then they'll just keep spawning out one after the next, reporting to duty in Port Prisma. I think that was the last set of them. Oh, wait. The last set of them will actually tell you it's the last set. So this guy's the last one. We all snuck into the duct uh, as the team, and we got stuck in there also as a team. I'm the last one. In case you were wondering, we rescue... We are the Blue Rescue Toads 8 through 17. I've been separated from my captain. I'll have to report back to him in Port Prism. Of course you will, dude. What are you talking about? Oh, and it's one of these ninja guys, dude. Oh, don't you dare attack me, you psycho ninja psycho, dude. Okay, so... Um, I guess the only way we could take these guys out here is by literally using a power block. Now, I've tried doing this before in the past. Think cards are the only thing that work. But also, if you crumple them... It'll also work out pretty nicely because they won't be able to obviously dodge your attacks. And we defeated them. Pretty nice. Perfect bonus. Thank you for all the coins, my dude. Yes, drop all this stuff. Oh, yeah, dude. Do you see that? Dropping all that stuff. Is there like... I can't tell if that's a colorless paint spot on top. But anyways, there's a colorless paint spot down there. Uh, there's also this guy, the Sniffit, who is really not a Sniffit. He's actually a toad, but you don't know that until after you battle him, so you probably should rescue him first, I believe. Let me just fill that in. Is there anything else that I should fill in in this area that I can't see, maybe? Nope, I could see everything. Let's go ahead and squash this guy. What are you looking at, Big Nose? You want to go? Oh, yeah, Big Mouth. If I'm Big Nose, you're Big Mouth, because your mouth is always wide open, sucker. Ready for something to go inside of it. So, let's just go ahead and knock this dude out real quickly. Like, we're not even going to mess around with this fella. If he's going to attack me and do some damage, then he's not really a rescue squad member. All oh, what is this for? Just for the sake of him trying to blend in with the sniffits. Where the heck did my stylus go? I lost my stylus, guys. Ow! You're really strong. I disguised myself as a sniffit to infiltrate the enemy ranks, but my mask was so tight I couldn't see anything. Sorry for calling you big nose. Toad of the number three of the Blue Rescue Squad reporting for duty. See you later, Toad. And he drops absolutely nothing. What a stingy little dude, man. What a stingy little boy. So, as you all could see, underneath that thing, there's a toad. We gotta go save him. And there's also a couple more feet dangling from the vents. Who could that possibly be? And what are they doing up there? Well, to answer your question, friends, it's actually just uh, a bob bomb. So... Nothing too crazy. It's not like you have to go there and, uh, and pull them out. Because you're just going to initiate a battle that's really no need for. Oh, there we go. And perfect. We got all. Oh, we, actually, we could kill them both with these two hammers. There we go. Suck them. And... Oh, dang it, man. They're layered. Why do I always got to battle the stupid, crappy, layered ones? Okay. Um, 
I guess that, I guess these two items will suffice. Hopefully it works. Man, I am just sick of battling these enemies. Honestly, like, it gets a little redundant at points. Like, just having to redo the same thing pretty much over and over and over again. And it's like they put so many of the same enemies in one area. So it's like, you battle one shy guy, and then there's like 50 more out there waiting for you to be battled. So you never really get, like, any resting periods when doing this. You just constantly have to battle them. I mean, it's not a bad thing, but for me, it's like I get bored pretty easily. So it's something that I personally wouldn't want to do constantly in every single level. And no, if you lie still, you're still going to get caught. So just get out of here, you angry little man. Toad number 20. Man, we already at Toad 20. Isn't that crazy? And we still have a lot more to save. These guys just never stop coming or hiding or, or being found, man. They're always There's always one somewhere. Uh, also, I'm not really sure if there's a colorless paint spot underneath that. There isn't. And I believe they did the same thing over here. This dude burnt his friend alive. Dude, that is crazy. You can't be doing that. Dude, these guys are crazy. Why eat a burger that's going, that might potentially burn you? But yeah, welcome to the gym, guys. This is the gym room, obviously. We got all kinds of equipment, all kinds of groups of toads and shy guys doing different things, working out. And then we have a sniffit here, obviously, is the leader. You know, watching over these guys, letting them know whether or not they're doing a fantastic job. Because that's what a trainer's supposed to do. So you just want to initiate a battle with them. If you actually kill the captain first, what happens is the shy guy that are with them all run away. So the thing is, you don't know that until after you beat this battle. Because you're going to obviously take out the guy that's in front of you for sure. So let me actually go ahead and do that. I'll take out the guy in front of me. We'll use these two battle cards just in case, you know, this hop slipper doesn't work out. All right, here we go. It better work out. Oh, yeah. If I keep, you know, landing this hit, I hope it works out. There we go. It didn't work out. Wow. Barely left him alive. And, of course, it's not going to attack him either. Well, that really stinks because I totally wasted my time. Yep. Totally, totally wasted my time. I just want to battle the Koopling, man. That's all I want to do right now. I just want to get this over with. Let's see. Go ahead and use this hammer. Man, if only they made, like, different enemies, too, in this area. Like, why is it just all Shy Guy? They act like Shy Guys are the only enemies in this game. Like, we had Goombas before in the forest. Kooplings, and then Shy Guy. Where are the spikes? Where are the fuzzies? Where are the evil toads, man? Like, give us a little something new, you know? Boom! And I stick the landing, and this training has really helped my core stability. I'm totally ripped. Uh, I'm crazy cut. I'm straight up shredded. All of which are paper puns. Nice one, toad. All of which are true, and they're not good for, you know, actual paper. So, yeah, moving on to the next group. We're going to go ahead and take on this guy, except this dude is going to play it differently than the other guy. He's going to make sure to stand in the back, so... It's going to be a little bit harder this time to defeat him. But you know what I'm going to do to get these guys all out in the first go? We're going to go ahead and use... Um, actually, no, I'm not going to do that. I was going to use my blaze hammer, but instead I'll use this fire flower. I'm actually pretty confident this fire flower will kill them all. Because all, all it takes pretty much is just one fireball to do the trick on one of these guys. Oh, yeah. Perfect. That's exactly what I needed. Die and die, Captain. Oh, you're still alive? Oh my god, no! And this is what I didn't want to happen, man. I should have played another card. Oh my gosh, dude. This is crazy. This is an absolute abomination, bro. I literally don't like this. And I will continue to emphasize this so long as this game keeps throwing this garbage at me. Let's go ahead and hurl this hammer, hopefully, on all of these guys doing some damage. If it actually lands on them, finally, the stupid captain died. And we're just going to make sure you're demolished, never coming back. Dang it, really? I have to kill him? I really have to kill him. This game isn't just going to let me off the hook. They're like, nope, you're going to have to kill him. Whether you like it or not, you're going to do it, bro. Okay, whatever. Fine, man. If that's what you want, game, you can have it your way. You can have it your way, you stubborn. Ugh! There we go. Just go ahead and keep hop slipper in this dude. He's still alive, bro. How? Dude, what is this, man? This is literally the worst, man. This is absolute garbage. 
So much time being spent battling these enemies. And that's not even the purpose of this level. They put way too many enemies in this. It's not even fun. At this point, it just gets it gets very annoying. Okay, let's pick up all this garbage real quick. There we go. And I believe we gotta run with Toad, because this guy's not gonna get off as easily. Huff, 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 Mario. Dude, come on, just talk to me, man. Did he really we gotta run with you to get this idiot off? Dude, I better smack him, dude, with my hammer. That's he deserves discipline. Honestly, these toads are spoiled, bro. Like just watching them kind of makes me upset. Like they they deserve a little bit of discipline. You give a little bit of discipline in them, get make like a toad boot camp or something, and all of these guys will uh will uh will will be good. We'll, we'll be good for a purpose or something. All right, so I'm gonna try my best to kill this guy as quickly as I possibly can. I'm gonna use the best of the best cards that I've got. Um. We're just gonna make sure that there's no coming back from these guys at all, whatsoever. Okay, use this fire flower. We're gonna use a pow block, ice flower, and fire flower. Because if that captain calls in more enemies, I'm literally gonna lose my crap. There we go. I'm gonna lose my patience. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. One, two, there we go. Three, four. Perfect. And we gotta just save all these fireballs for the captain himself. Because apparently this guy's Mr. Head Honcho doesn't die in one fireball. Thinks he's better than that. Oh yeah, look at him. Look at that. Look at that guy, dude. Dying in one fireball. Just as I thought. But had I not used that fire flower, he probably would have never died. It's just the game either want you to waste your battle cards or struggle on these battles. Okay, come on, man. I, I don't really care how many squats you did. You're never gonna get ripped, dude. There's no muscle in paper, bro. So, you're wasting your time. And he's off. See you later, man. Okay. We are almost done with this, guys. Finally. Ah, oh, this long billion year level is almost done. Uh, but there's another one of these blue toads hiding in here. And for only... I don't know what reason he's hiding in here for. I guess he doesn't like the sound of, of working out. He's just trying to... Avoid having to, to train with his buddies. All right, go ahead. Report to Port Prisma, you good-for-nothing piece of garbage toad. Dude, I'm, I'm pissed off right now. These toads don't do anything. I'm, I'm sitting here rescuing them, and they're just making my job harder when they could just not even appear here. Don't make an appearance, and I don't have to save you guys. They just get caught up in all the shy guy drama and trouble. Okay, let's see. Do I have any more colorless paint spots that I need to fill in? I do not believe so. I think I, I've gotten pretty much everything I need in this one area. However, now we got to go ahead and cut out this wall over here in order to get past this upcoming part. So this is pretty much the last area before we take on the boss. This upcoming area that we're about to take on is, in fact, the boss room. And when you really think about how big this place is, it's actually not. It's very, very small. It's just because of the fact that, you know, we had to take on all those shy guy. That's why the level felt long. Or at least longer than, you know, it should have felt. But is this uh, something that I can paint? I can't tell. Nope, doesn't look like I can paint that. Maybe this. Just want to make sure. Okay, doesn't look like that's even something I can paint either. Maybe this right here. Okay, doesn't look like that's even something that I can paint. But we made it, my boys. Where are we? Hey, we made it, my boys. This is it. I'm going to go ahead and save. I am not risking losing this battle or my progress. All right. I'm actually pretty confident going into this battle. Like I said, it's actually not hard by any means, especially if you know what to do. I've been waiting, Mario. I designed this weapon specifically for you. I think you're going to love it. Gaze upon its glory. Cower in fear of its might. What is this said weapon you speak of? And who is this coupling that I am talking to? Well, you're about to find out in a second. Oh, here it comes. The mighty weapon of Ludwig. Oh, man, that is hip, dude. What's good, Ludwig? Let's see how he talks. He doesn't talk like he's from Germany. Oh, my new anti-Mario weapon. Ludwig's mega bad super battleship of doom. But its friends call it the Super Lud Ship. What do you think? Isn't it fierce? Oh, yeah, it doesn't really look that fierce, but it's pretty good for, you know, a paper boat. Uh, but did uh, but you did show up a little uh, early than I anticipated, so we had to cut production a bit short. Get it? They cut the paper a bit short? I'm just kidding. Quit bragging. You classically train half-wit. There's a big paint start here. I know it. You can't hide it from me. I can smell things. Things a normal paint can can only dream of smelling. 
You're right, I do have a big bl uh, blue big paint star, but I'm not going to let you take it. If you really want it, you'll have to get through uh, me and my super ludship. Come at me. Oh, man. Here we go. The battle begins. Mario and Huey versus Ludwig. This first movement begins. I hope you enjoy my cannon in C major. So, uh, remember, guys, how I told you earlier on that we need pretty much the Tanuki tails that we've picked up. Well, that is what we're going to be using to pretty much beat this guy. So, we're going to use one mushroom right now and one Tanuki leaf. Or, uh, tail, rather. I know I keep calling them Tanuki Leafs. They're not Tanuki Leafs. It's a, it's a tail. That's all it's called in this game. Just a tail. So he's gonna go ahead and send off a cannon. Just shoot it at me. Target Mario! Fire! Let, let him shoot the cannon. Oh, yeah. Shoot the cannon at me, and then hit the thing. Boom with your tail, sucker. Get it back at the ship. Oh, yeah. Ho oh, ho, a counterattack. Can't, aren't we doing well? Prepare tactical uh, auxiliary forward. Mounted attack units. Oh, you know what I mean. Cue the dang Koopa paratroopers. Roger, your evilness. Oh, here they come. No, paratroopers are here. But it's fine. It's all good. We're, we're going to be fine, guys. You know why? Because we're going to kill these paratroopers with, uh, with our shoes. Let's see. Do I have... I have these. And then I got one of these. And then we'll switch from that to using a tail. Oh, wow, man. I was very worried that I didn't have any tails. I only have three left. This is being uh, this is being the third one, so I'm gonna have to make sure that I utilize them as best as I possibly can. Otherwise, I will uh, end up screwing myself up big time. There we go. Come on, Koopa, you die. Perfect. All right, here we go. There we go. Get a good head start, so then that way we can kill him with this regular jump. Perfect. And oh yeah, oh yeah, perfect, man. This is actually how I wanted it to go. I was a little nervous that those shoes weren't going to make it through, but thankfully they did. And here we go, once again with the Tanuki Leaf. Got to make the most of this because I only get one shot at it. Ooh, sucker. Eat that. Oh, yeah. Err, my ship has taken serious damage. Don't think I'm going to let it happen again. Bombers, do your stinking jobs. Yes, sir. And here they come, the spikes, dude. Bomb squad reporting for battle. So, they're going to attempt to attack me with those things, which is fine. Because our tactic is, as per usual, use the tail and you'll be dandy. And as soon as they start sending them at me, I'm just going to whack it back. Okay, I'm a little nervous because I've never missed a hit. So I don't know what happens if I'll miss a hit. Oh, wow. Perfect. Knock him out. All right. Come on. Oh, I missed it, man. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. I missed it and I did 20 damage. Oh, my gosh, dude. Wow, okay, so now we know what happens when you miss the attack. And that's a problem for me, guys, because I am down to my last tail. Wait, actually, I think I used my last tail. Well, that is terrible, because now I don't have any tails. Wait, no, I have one more. Well, that sucks. Because I think this is the last one that we need, so if I fill this attack, then yes, I'm screwed. So I cannot fill this attack. All right, come on, come on, come on. Oh, yeah. Okay. And then send the cannonball. Oh, no! 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 This is not, this is not happening, bro. This is not freaking happening. I missed both tail attacks. What are the chances and odds of that, man? I did it, guys. Wow. I could have just used a battle spin, which is what I just did. And uh, I would have ended up most likely getting a extra tail because I just got a tail using the battle spin, even though I had two tail cards. So, yeah, it was kind of no point in restarting this, but I didn't really think of it. I was just like, dang, I should have gotten more tail cards. I, I, I don't know, man. But nonetheless, we managed to do it and we got past the battleship phase. And now we are on the super LUD sub uh, phase, which is, you know, Lud Ludwig inside of his uh, submarine. So the only way we can actually continue this battle is by using one of our thing cards. As you all know, in every single one of these battles that we've done, we've been using a thing card. Today's thing card is going to be... And that, my friends, is... Take a wild guess, it's gonna be the balloons! Oh yeah, I wonder why. Well, maybe the balloons will actually work as a means for you know, Ludwig to flow out of the water and then be brought closer to me on land. Therefore, 
I can destroy him. And Birdo's gonna be the one doing the pleasure. Hey, what's up, Birdo? Look at her, dude. She's seducing him. Birdo looks like the Sniffits. You know, the mouth does. I, maybe the Sniffits are trying to be Birdo or something. I don't know. Or maybe when they take their masks off, they're actually Birdo in disguise. Okay, I don't know why I use that. Super Lutz up. Dive, huh? Dive, dive! Why won't you dive? Because you're not on water anymore, you crazy dude. So, this is pretty much it for the battle. That hard part is over. Now we can go ahead and enjoy the rest of this battle by, you know, obviously doing the easy stuff. And by that, I mean we're just going to, you know, go ahead and use a couple big shoes. I guess we'll go ahead and use this over here as well. We want to destroy his submarine, and it's pretty easy to do. You just got to make sure you're landing pretty good hits. So, here we go. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I want to get, like, excellence. There we go. Perfect. Dang, we almost destroyed that sub. There we go. It's made out of cardboard. How bad or how strong could it possibly be? All right, here we go. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, dude. Imagine three worn-out shoes getting excellent hits. This is perfect. By the time we are done with this, this dude will be out of that sub. Oh, yeah, man. It looks like it's not even functioning at this point. It's not even breaking anymore because we pretty much destroyed it. Oh, yeah. Come on, pop out of it. Woohoo! Oh, it's popping out! And that is it! My boy Ludwig is exposed! You wrecked my super LUD sub! How dare you! How dare you, man! How dare you! Are you really gonna ask me that question? So what do I want to use? That's a great question, guys. I guess I will destroy him in a very, very nice way. I actually think I'm kind of overkilling it with the battle cards, but dude, I'm not taking any more chances. I'm gonna make sure that this guy is done once and for all. Out cold. Oh, yeah. There we go. And excellent. Still didn't really kill him. I guess it stops at one point. And this should do the trick. Wow, we didn't need that hurl hammer. That hurl hammer would have done so much damage, though. Mario, the world famous Super Mario. I wanted to fight you if only once. That's why I lured you here with the big paint star. But it looks like I underestimated you. I admit defeat. Even now, I'm glad that I got to trade blows with you. I guess I'll just have to hope Lord Bowser can defeat you. Goodbye. Peace out, Ludwig. You psycho little boy, turtle. We surrender. Yes, you better surrender. We realize the error of our ways. Good. Finally, we're talking some sense into these evil dudes. And here they come. Look at these gates, man. Look at that. Coming on a little tiny thing. So sorry. Here, go ahead, man. Take this uh, big giant paint star. We don't need it anymore. We were just keeping it because, you know, Ludwig commanded us to do so. He doesn't even know why he wanted it. Stuff your sorries back in a sack and toss that big paint star this way. Thanks. It's okay to forgive, Huey. You don't have to be so bitter and mean all the time. Jump in it to wake it up. Let's go ahead and save the big paint star. So, now that we saved the big blue paint star, guys, we only have, like, I believe, three more paint stars to save. And these upcoming paint stars are going to be a lot shorter to obtain than the first three. So, we're, like, a lot... I think we're over halfway done with the game. If I am correct, there should be about 15 episodes remaining for the level... Or, I, or for the LP, like 14, 15 episodes, something along those lines. So definitely less than uh, what we've already posted so far of this game. And look at that, guys. The ocean water is now back to normal. The color is all blue and all that good stuff. So we can actually go through and beat this level now, which is exciting. I can't wait. Hey, look at that. You're back on water, my boy. Your ship could sail. We did it. Are they going to say I did it? They better give me credit. They're not going to give me credit. They're not even acknowledging what I did. The hard work and effort that I had to go through just to get sure, to make sure that the water was restored back to what it once was. Well, here we are back in Fort Prisma. And we have, like I said, three more giant paint stars to save. We've already saved three. Three more to go. And that will be it. The, big, the blue big paint star has returned to Prisma Fountain. Yes, it has. Thank you. I am the blue big paint star. Allow me to share my memories with you. So they always do that. As you all know, they share their memories with us pretty much giving us a little clip as to what was going down when, you know, Port Prisma was under attack and Bowser was doing everything. I thought we've already seen everything, but apparently there's a lot more that we haven't seen like this, for example. These guys walking around stealing the paint putting it in, you know, buckets with airships around here. Obviously, each airship taking the color paint and whatnot. You got the blue paint, 
You got the red airship with the paint. You got the yellows. You got the, uh, what else is there? Greens? Nope, doesn't look like greens even a color. Red, and yellow, and blue, pretty much. The only three colors. The primary colors, man. The only colors you need to mix and match other colors with and create other colors, pretty much. And that's the little thing that he had to share with me. Something I already knew, so I guess your piece of information wasn't as useful as you thought. So that's what happened. Bowser's army invaded with a ton of airships and hauled all of the paint. The one we destroyed at Charisma Tower was one of them. But why are they do what are they doing with all that paint? Guess we'll have to rescue the next big paint star to find out. That's true. I know we're all still tired from the last celebration, but we need to show the big blue paint star how much we care. Let's dance. And then they're gonna dance and perform a dance that's different than the dance that they did last time because they have a billion billion dances in their heads. Look at this dance, it's like a weird twinkle snow dance. Oh, even the spirits are here. Well, that's kind of creepy. Oh, and even the guys from the hotel are also here. Maybe it's because the blue paint star belongs to them, like it's a part of their territory. And we get, again, a max increase for HP, bringing us up to 125, which is pretty nice. Yeah, it's also increasing my total amount of HP. So that is pretty much it, guys. Thank you all so much for watching. In the next episode, we're going to be taking on that one level that we couldn't finish, the one with the, uh, the battleship and the toads and whatnot. So that's what we're going to be doing in the next episode. Thank you all for watching, guys. Like I said, oh, and we got to do this. Oh, my gosh. Okay, well, never mind then. Uh, I guess you guys are going to have to wait. Ready? Yes, I'm ready. Let's just go ahead and run there as quickly as possible possible i wonder if we can make it before him oh yeah we grabbed it haha -ha, sucker i didn't know that if you grabbed it you didn't have to battle him but we sh we chased him off and they still gave me the reward for it okay i'll take it so that is gonna do it guys thank you for watching and i'll see you all in the next one peace